Yomawari, the Long Night Collection, may look like it's too cute to deliver any real chills, but do not be fooled. It's a collection that includes both Yomawari Night Alone and Yomawari Midnight Shadows. Now between the two, there's a whole lot of grotesque horror hidden beneath this game's session aesthetics. These are survival horror titles through and through. And in both, death is never more than a few steps away. The Yomawari games have always explored the impact of the supernatural and its bonds between people and what they're willing to do to basically not allow the most horrifying of situations hold them back. Now, Yomawari Night Alone and Yomawari Midnight Shadows both offer a comprehensive and richer view of such situations, allowing players to see two sides from two different games of a situation and engage with even more otherworldly creatures and unfortunate altercations. In Yomawari Night Alone, the main character goes out for a walk with her dog, Poro. She comes back home without her beloved dog and her sister tells her to stay at home and that she will go out to search for the dog in the middle of the night. Unfortunately, her dog does not return and the girl, in a serious lack of good judgment, goes out into the night to search for her dog and her sister. But something is wrong. The city does not look the same and the darkness seems to be consuming everything around her. Now in Yomawari Midnight Shadows, this game has a heartbreaking prologue. So a young girl buries her recently deceased dog, abandons the one that is still living, and then ends her own life. Except in the next scene, she is alive. This girl, whose name is Yui, is attending a fireworks show with Haru, her best friend that is about to move away. This farewell turns tragic when the two girls are separated by spirits. The rest of the game follows the duo as they attempt to reunite. To progress through the game's story, you'll switch between both Yui and Haru as you explore their spooky town and attempt to uncover clues to each other's whereabouts. Sounds easy enough, right? Well, it would be if it weren't for all the demons that are roaming the streets looking to turn the pair into a juicy late night snack. These games do a great job of making you feel hopelessly vulnerable by arming you, the player, with little more than a flashlight and their feet. The flashlight is good for spotting some enemies who are invisible to the naked eye as well as uncovering coins, which can be used to save the game at shrines, and other single-use items that can occasionally distract ghouls, like paper planes and stones. These are pretty much the extent of your arsenal, however combat is never really an option as the only way to survive against these ghouls is to keep an eye on your surroundings and plan your movements carefully. You'll find out early on that cupboards and bushes are your friends and to tiptoe around sentient butcher knives and eerie ghost babies. Unless you want them to turn you into twitching piles of meat. Yamarati, the Long Night Collection can be tough, but it isn't quite the survival horror equivalent of Dark Souls. Save points are plentiful and saving is a precious thing that's something that can only be done as specific statues, a la Resident Evil, if you have collected a coin to use as an offering. Now let's talk about the visuals, which are very claustrophobic and unsettling. Darkness crowds around the edge of the screen and it constantly gets dimmer, or it constantly is dimmed, save for a few that are just far too bright. And the ghostly shadows flicker into existence and fade out just as quickly, leaving you wondering if you really saw what you think you just saw. And on top of that, the game has a soundtrack that's sure to leave you feeling ill at ease. The music is sparse but is unrelenting as a whole. The kind of droning noise that's sure to, sure to set you on edge. Whenever a threat appears, you hear a heart, your heart, beating faster and faster and guaranteed as a way to raise your tension level. Now overall, Yamawari Midnight Shadows, as well as this prequel, The Long Night, or as a whole, both kind both games combined, Yomawari The Long Night Collection, are games that will stick with you. The lush and haunting hand-drawn visuals and the story, while it's simple, still manages to make it feel for its young protagonists. What happens and what you're forced to do and the way things look will, when they occur have a big impact. 
And because we're walking in the protagonist's shoes in both games, it makes things even more heartbreaking and thrilling. And through and through, we're incredibly connected to these young women, invested in their story. So Yamawati Midnight Shadows is honestly a ghoulish survival horror game that no fan of the survival horror genre should miss. This game is Casanova approved.